In this video, I'm going to go through a few example problems from the No Calculator section of the SAT Math. This problem says, which of the following is equivalent to the given expression? All right, so we have 8 over x over 24. Remember, those really are division signs. So you have 8 divided by x and all that divided by 24. So another way you can write this is 8 over 24x. Because basically I'm taking 8x and dividing by 4, so this is doing the same thing. And you can reduce to 8. 8 goes into 8 once, 8 goes into 24 three times, so 1 over 3x. Now another way you can think of this is 8x. And when you're dividing by 24, you can multiply by the reciprocal or times 1 over 24. So now we have two fractions, 8 over x times 1 over 24. That becomes 8 over 24x. And that reduces down to 1 over 3x. So that's going to be answer B. So this problem says the equation shown gives A in terms of H, B1, and B2. Which equation gives B1 in terms of A, H, and B2? So this is a literal equation problem. We want to get our B1 by itself. So we have A equals 1 half H, B1 plus B2. First I want to get rid of the 1 half. I'm going to multiply by the reciprocal, or 2 over 1, or just 2. That gives me 2A equals h times the quantity b1 plus b2. Get rid of the h and divide both sides by h. So I get 2a over h equals b1 plus b2. I get the b1 by itself. I subtract b2 from both sides. And I have 2a over h minus b2 equals b1 and we see our answer choices are not quite that way the b2 has a denominator now to have a common denominator between 2ah and b2 would be h so it'd be 2a over h minus hb2 over h equal to b1 Look at that fraction, h over h, we cancel out, leaving just a b2, so those, that fraction is equivalent. All right, so we have b1 is equal to 2a over h, minus h b2 over h, so answer d. So this problem says, what is the volume in cubic units of the right triangular prism shown? So in this problem, they don't give us the volume equation, but you should be able to figure out this by using you know, this triangle right here. We have a triangle. The area of a triangle is 1 half times the base times height. And since it basically extends this way, you multiply it by that length. Okay, so our volume is going to equal 1 half the base times height and basically times the length. So 1 half 8 times 8 times 12. So 8 times 8 is 64 times 1 half or divided by 2 is 32 then times 12. We're going to break that up into 10 and 2. So 32 times 10 is 320. 32 times 2 is 64. This is 384. So answer C. So you just found the area of the triangle, then multiply it by the length of the prism. So the problem says which of the following is equivalent to the square root of 64b to the 8th power? Alright, so when we're finding the square root, we're going to find things raised to the second power. 64 is a perfect square or 8 squared. I can rewrite b to the 8 as b to the 4th power squared. 
Remember with your exponents, you multiply them together, so 2 times 4 will give you the 8. So when you're finding a square root, you find things to the second power, and they come out as one of those to the first power. All right, so 8 to the second comes out as just 8 to the first. B to the fourth to the second just comes out as B to the fourth. So that's going to be answer B. So this problem says a computer company has an order of 255 computers, and a third of the computers were built on a certain day. There were 15 techs available to build computers that day, and each tech built the same number of computers, C. Which of the following equation represents the information in terms of C? So in this problem, we know each of the techs built C computers. 15 C, 15 times C, and that was equal to one third of the 255 computers. Now if we want to rearrange this so the 255 is by itself on the right side, and you multiply by three on both sides, the reciprocal, get rid of the one third, that equals 255 here, and then basically three times 15C. So three times 15C will equal the 255. So that is answer A. So this problem is one of the fill-in answers. So it says, in a given equation, B is a positive constant. The sum of the solutions of the equation is 7. What is the value of B? So in this problem, we're going to use the zero product rule. So in this case, for this equation to equal 0, x squared can equal 0, or x minus 2 can equal 0, or x minus B can equal 0. So our solutions would be, in this case, x equals 0, add 2 to both sides here, so x can equal 2, add B to both sides here, and x equals B. So if x is 0, or if x is 2, or if x is b, that will cause that equation to be 0. So those are the solutions to the equation. So we want the sum, that means add them all together. So 0 plus 2 plus b is going to equal 7. 0 plus 2 is 2, so 2 plus b equals 7. Subtract 2 from both sides, so b is equal to 5. So this is another fill-in question. In the right triangle, x, y, z, sine x is equal to cosine of 15. What is the measure in degrees of angle x? So in this one, if you know the co-function identity, which is sine x is equal to cosine 90 degrees minus x, if you remember that, sine x in this case, it's going to be cosine. Now we need that to equal 15, so 90 minus x equals 15. So let's subtract 90 from both sides. So negative x equals negative 75, or x equals 75. Okay, so 90 minus 75, which will make this 75. So x is equal to 75 degrees. So another way to solve this is to draw your right triangle. Be x, y, and z. So we have sine x here, which would be side x over the hypotenuse. So we look at the cosine of angle z, that would also equal x over h. So sine of x would equal side x over h and cosine of z remember that's adjacent over hypotenuse so x over h also okay so if we say that was 15 degrees there and we have our 90 the other one has to add up to so x and z had to add up to 90 so 90 minus 15 is 75 for that to be true These were just a few example problems from the No Calculator section on SAT Math. Remember to check out our other SAT videos so you get well prepared for your SAT exam. Thanks.